Howdy y'all, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today I'm gonna to do an unboxing and review of the Libes, I think that's how you say it, Libes Solar Green Feeder Lights. So I had a subscriber recommend these to me. I was about to go out and buy uh, some elusive wildlife lights, which are almost double the price of this. And he said he had used these and really liked them and they worked pretty well. So this two pack costs $60. They also sell a three pack, I think for around $90 or so. So this is how it came from Amazon. So we'll go ahead and open it up. So these lights say they have a 2000 milliamp hour lithium battery. They're pretty small. Comes with some screws, the booklet, looks like a mount of some sort, and then obviously the light itself. So they are automatic motion sensor. The light just turns on when it sees motion. It doesn't gradually get turned on which the elusive wildlife ones I was looking at would do that. Um, but I figured for the price difference, I'd try this out. What I also liked about this that was better than the elusive wildlife is it says it has a 30 to 40 foot radius. It has 20 green LED lights in it. It's solar powered, so you shouldn't have to recharge it a bunch. So it looks like this clip here goes right on the back. So if you wanted to screw it to something, you could do that. It also has a loop here so if you wanted to put a strap and wrap it around your feeder you could do that as well my guess is you go this route if you're going to put it like on a two by four or something like that they seem like they're built pretty solid um it's got an off on button here at the bottom other than that it doesn't look like there's really much to it um, they are waterproof so you can leave them out year round shouldn't have any issues with that so i mean for the price of about 30 bucks a pop Seems like it's worth a shot. So these had really good reviews and it says that the light when it comes on should stay on for about 20 to 30 seconds or as long as there's motion still around the light as well. It says the brightness is about 100 lumens and it'll take eight hours to fully charge this. What's pretty cool, it says the sensors are good up to about 20 to 30 feet, which is pretty nice. So there's really not a ton in the book. It's Pretty thick, but it's about 10 different languages is what it looks like. They do recommend setting it about six feet off the ground. One of my feeders isn't that tall, so I may do a two by four or something like that over there. It doesn't look like it'd be very good setup for a T-post, so I probably won't do that unless I rig up a T-post with some sort of two by four or something on it that you can put it up against. So there's about 100 reviews on Amazon, and it, I think it's about 4.8 stars. That may not mean too much these days, but I figured we'll test them out and see how it goes. I'm actually headed out to the property this weekend. So I'll add a review of these either at the end of this video or in another video coming. But I'm gonna go ahead and open up the second box and set them outside in the sunlight so that they can get charged. And one note, obviously since these are solar powered, you really need to make sure you have them facing direct sunlight. So I'd have them facing either the east or the west. I went ahead and shut the blinds and lights off so y'all could kind of see the green light and how it works. Obviously I'm making motion so it's gonna turn on. And you know, just a test to show you that it does work. And you can shut it off here at the bottom as well. So we'll test this guy out too. Turn him on. Like you said, so it'll just set up like that and show you your green light and you can see it's pretty pretty bright not sure if this is as bright as it gets or if it gets a little bit brighter depending how charged up the battery is but i'm gonna go ahead and set them out and get them fully charged and then i'll do a test with them later and hopefully i'll be able to shoot myself a hog So here's the green light. I'm about probably 10 yards from the feeder right now. And so that's one green light. 
walk around over here. So you had to get pretty close, so not sure I believe the detection range, but you can kind of get an idea how it looks. So I'm about, again, 10, 10, 15 yards. So you can definitely see stuff. The issue I had is at about 100 yards or so. You know, you just can't see through your scope unless you have an illuminated reticle. But for bow hunting, it's actually probably a pretty good light. I will put a link in the description below for these, so go ahead and check them out. Again, I appreciate all y'all watching my videos and everyone that subscribed. So if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so that y'all can get alerts for my future videos. Thanks, guys.